Okay, so there's a question about the MOTV but on switch. Okay, so this is clip is to uh, show how it is done. Uh, so I already pulled out the switch. Okay, uh, down here. Okay, so I'm using the 2900 series. Okay, so you can see the name over here. Okay, so basically, let me just go into it. All right, and I'll go in the straight into the CLI command line interface, which has already booted up. All right, so you can see the Cisco iOS boot up process. I won't go into the detail, and I will just hit enter so I get the switch prompt. Okay, but if you want to configure the MOTD, all right, first you need to enable because uh, you are now at the lowest uh, privilege, you can't do anything here. All right, so enable, okay. So once you enable, you will see your prompt change. You will see the hash at the back, all right. But uh, still not enough because you want to configure the terminals. Okay, so let's go into the C-O-N-F-I-G-U-R-E, okay. Configure the terminal. All right. So now, enter the configuration command. Okay, one per line. Okay, then you end with all right this particular control Z. Okay. So what do I want to do now? I want a banner. All right. Okay, for the M O T D. All right, and uh. What's the message? Okay, uh, switch TCH uh, MOTD by Lim Jet Wheat. Okay, all right, then any. All right, nothing happened. Oh, you don't see anything happen. So, did it work? Let's test. Okay, let me go out. Okay, and out again. Okay, now hit enter, and you will see the MOTD message. All right, switch MOTD by uh, Lim Jerry. But of course, uh, you will most likely create a proper message than this sample that I've given over here. Okay, so it is possible to create a MOTD message, okay, in a switch, see, in a switch.